Hey guys, Chandler here, back on my channel, Alternate Journey, and today we are going to be discussing about all the different types of testosterone. Now, a lot of people use testosterone for many different reasonings. Uh, me, personally, myself, I inject testosterone weekly for my hormone replacement therapy, um, aka for those people that don't know, I'm trans, so there you go. A lot of people use testosterone for many different reasonings, whether they are using it for gender euphoria, for like a transitioning, bodybuilding, or just for cis individuals that have low testosterone side effects. We're all born with testosterone and estrogen, and we have to make sure that those levels are maintained at a healthy level. I'm just simply discussing about the five different types of testosterone that I have done research on. Obviously, always consult with a medical provider before switching your testosterone before you start going on testosterone, but then again, you have to be, be prescribed anyways to get it. In most cases, all of these are, can be injected intramuscularly and some subcutaneously as well, meaning intramuscular being injected into a muscle and subcutaneous meaning being able to inject the substance into a layer of fat. And all the information that I have found within this video, you can also find on the website called The Bio Station. Sapionate. It's an 8-carbon ester, ester form of the substance, meaning it's a long-acting oil-based testosterone, and this oil-based is made from cottonseed oil. Um, it's used mainly by trans men and non-binary individuals for transitioning purposes. Um, going on hormone replacement therapy. Um, it's also popular among bodybuilders and athletes. Tangle these levels you want to inject with every seven days. Um, so yeah, that's why I do a weekly shot. Anantate. This one is used for men who do not produce enough testosterone. It is also oil-based and it is made from sesame oil. A shorter lifespan of just five days. So you have to do still a weekly injection, kind of, but like some weeks I guess you would do two injections because it's like the five days. So unfortunately, instead of just having like a normal shot day of like, hey, every Monday I do a shot, you have to remember as like, okay, Monday, and then my next shot is Saturday, and then my next shot after that is Wednesday, and then after that it's, you know, so it's just like you always have to constantly remember, which gets very annoying. Propionate. Also oil-based, it's a short Easter ester testosterone, meaning it is faster acting and it is a grapeseed oil. This one has a lifespan of three to four days. It requires frequent injections. It's mainly used for uh, cis men who have delayed in puberty, which makes sense that you want a one that's like a more faster acting thing, especially for someone that has um, delayed in puberty, you want them to catch up. It's typically administered every two to three days for consistent levels and is only prescribed in special cases. It can peak in the blood within hours of being injected. So if like a bodybuilder was going to be doing the, um, this type of testosterone, hours after doing this shot, they will work out. There's a whole math equation that bodybuilders do of like when they should start their workout. That's why um, knowing the differences between these testosterones are beneficial in many ways of just knowing when to do your shot, but also like in the bodybuilder aspect as well. Undy can know a is a long-acting ester. Ester. Maintains levels within the normal range without major fluctuations. It kept saying that when I was researching this one. I don't know why, because most testosterone maintains within normal range. Anyways, you, that, that's just how you know when to do your next shot. But I guess this one is just so much longer acting than anything else, because this one actually allows you to do shots every three months after an initial loading dose within a six-week interval. Uh, meaning, like, frequent. Uh, shots for like six weeks, I guess, of like micro dosing levels in order for your body to get used to the substance. It's made in Germany, it's a castor oil, and then in China, it's a tea seed oil. Although, over the past few years, they have changed it to soybean oil for improvements. I didn't really say what improvements, but I guess it just makes it last longer for the three months. This one is typically not used for trans men, although it is starting to be used for trans individuals, but it is mainly used for individuals uh, like cis men with just low testosterone side effects, um, especially since it is like a whole three months of dope interval. I just feel like I would just totally forget. Like imagine doing a shot and then three months later doing a shot. I'm pretty sure though, if you were doing a hormone replacement therapy aspect, journey with this, that you would actually have to do more frequent shots. I don't think it's every three months. There wasn't a lot of information on the whole trans aspect, unfortunately. Um, so if anyone has tried it and stuff like that, or is researching more about it, or talked to the doctor about it, please comment down with more information down below. I'd love to hear it. And last but not least, testosterone suspension. This one contains no ester, or uh, easter, whatever you want to forget, I'm going to call it. Ester. It's a water-based testosterone, so the purest form of testosterone that you can get, pretty much, besides what's already naturally in your body. Among bodybuilders, this one is known as a potent mass agent. 
Uh, really good for those gains, I guess. It's the most powerful injectable steroid available. Um, it remains in the body for a limited number of hours, meaning this is definitely the testosterone that bodybuilders will inject and then wait for their window. To treat low testosterone, they typically do a dose of 25 to 50 milligrams administered two to three times a week. But with this one, it's not recommended because it's not going to help maintain levels. Your levels are always going to be spiking. That's why it's not necessarily used for treatment of low testosterone or for even hormone replacement therapy. It's mainly just used by bodybuilders because it's, you know, hey, that pure form of tea, that mass agent, you know? So it's considered an advanced level steroid only. It's not used for medical treatment. Same side effects of all forms of testosterone, but harder to control due to the rapid action of the suspension. Now, obviously, all of these different types of testosterone are going to have all basically the same side effects of testosterone. Testosterone itself has its pure side effects, but obviously taking different forms are going to have different side effects as well. But anyways, I wanted to share this little bit of information. I know it wasn't like very detailed. It was just like about the testosterones and what they're made out of, but sometimes even that little bit amount of information really helps with an individual, especially if they're allergic to certain things. But yeah, if you guys want me to like break down on a certain type of testosterone or even like the history of testosterone esters to begin with like the making of it and stuff like that I'm very interested in, in that stuff but I don't know if other people are and also I just find this information just very helpful because the fact is like if you go on testosterone that doesn't work for you whether it is for your hormone replacement therapy whether you're cis and you just are experiencing low testosterone side effects being a cis male or cis female and it's just like or even if you're a bodybuilder and you want to get those gains you want to find the pure form of tea it's, it's beneficial to know all this stuff so you can keep on trying different things. Not saying like it's a, like a little sample thing and everything, but like keep trying them in a safe, educated environment, obviously consulting your doctor. Look at the statistics. If you find yourself watching multiple my videos, might as well subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell down below so you get notifications whenever I upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.